And we will pick up our breaking news coverage right now. A jury has found movie mogul Harvey Weinstein guilty on two counts, including a criminal sex act and third degree rape and not guilty on three others, including a couple which were the most serious against him. Alex Hogan is live for us in New York City at the courthouse with more. Alex? This is a monumental case in the Me Too movement. And now, again, as you just mentioned, we do have a verdict. So Harvey Weinstein faced five counts in this sexual assault case, and he has been found guilty here today on two of them. The very first one that he's been found guilty on is criminal sexual act in the first degree. That is a class B felony, and the penalty for that is up to 25 years in prison. All of this was for the accusation of Mimi Haley. She was a former production assistant. She says that he sexually assaulted her in two 2006 and according to the jury here today they say that the prosecution proved beyond reasonable doubt that Harvey Weinstein did in fact commit this crime. Now the second crime or count I should say that Harvey Weinstein has been found guilty of that is rape in the third degree that is a class E felony and that is for the account of Jessica Mann. She says that Harvey Weinstein raped her in a hotel room. So again all of this information just coming out now again we're still waiting to hear a little bit more and for the people in the courtroom to actually leave. We haven't seen anyone leave the courtroom just yet, but Harvey Weinstein also faced three other counts. Those are predatory sexual assault, predatory sexual assault for his third count, and then rape in the first degree. Those three, he's been found not guilty. But again, this is a big announcement for so many accusers who waited. Many women came forward. Only two women's cases were able to be heard in court. There was also the accusation of another one, and that was the one case that could have led this to become predatory sexual assault. The prosecution would have needed to prove that this was a repetition for Harvey Weinstein, that he had committed these kinds of acts previously in the past, but according to the jury and their findings now, that simply wasn't able to be done. So again, just two counts that we're seeing, but altogether his first case Count that a charge of criminal sexual act in the first degree could be up to 25 years. The second one, rape in the third degree, that could be a prison sentence of up to four years. So lumping those together, there's of course no word on a sentencing yet or what that would mean. Harvey Weinstein also faces charges in a case in California. So we're hearing from legal analysts that how this moves working moving forward is that the district attorney here in New York will likely work with the district attorney in Los Angeles to make sure that Harvey Weinstein is available for that court case. But for now, again, we're still waiting for people to come out of the courthouse behind me and we'll be here throughout the day for that. Uh, Alex, you're talking about what comes next in all of this in the state of New York. And I'm wondering, because you say that they're going to work together, uh, California and New York, rather California's next. What are you hearing about a timeline there? What am I hearing about a timeline with what comes next with the, the next timeline. two charges? So for these next two ones, there's there's no word just yet on the timeline. We're still at this point waiting for them to even come out of the courthouse as they're still discussing all of the ins and outs of this. But this has been a long time coming. Of course, some of these accusations date back decades. So for these accusers, I'm sure same thing for them. They're wondering when will they see Harvey Weinstein behind bars? We were told that he will not be released today. So we're still waiting for the prosecution and of course his attorneys to come out and speak with us today. The district attorney will have a press conference today. So we'll be able to touch on that a little bit more moving forward.